Hey, welcome back and in today's video, another episode of The Rep Reports. We're going to be having Rep Reports mugs soon. I've been working on some merch from local businesses so we can help out th things and people and places and during the pandemic. For example, in April, we're going to have a team jersey. That's right, Rep Squad, locally sourced. But we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. In today's episode of The Rep Reports, I forget what episode this is. But in today's episode of The Rip Reports, we're going to be talking about Destry Smith and how he's got uh, this collection of just not good things and his Discord server and a little bit of other stuff. We're going to talk about uh, YouTuber Pastel Bell and some difficulties she's been having on YouTube. Evidence that Shane Dawson is a cheater. All that and more as The Rip Reports. Oh, my tea's cold. As you know, just a couple days ago, March 6, 2021, I released my video on Destry Smith and his inappropriate behavior uh, and accusations of underage grooming of child fans. He privated all his social media accounts. Let's see if he's uh, got those still privated. Twitter still privated. Instagram still privated. And I'm also told he has a Discord server that is also still privated. Now... I had some people reach out to me and tell me that there were some things that was going on in his Discord server that are that are not okay. Somebody reached out to me and said, although at the time that they joined Destry's Discord server, they were 22 years old, they did notice uh, some type of strange behavior, and the majority of the people in there were very, very, very young, between the ages of 13 and 17. One thing she noticed was an NSFW channel, which appeared to be inappropriate pictures and other uh, inappropriate content. And in order to get into this channel, they needed to do this little verification check mark where, it, it, let's look. So as you can see, uh, all you had to do was just click the like and you're in there. They went on to say that as far as they could tell, they were one of the oldest people in the server. They say furthermore, there are no explicit rules condemning these kids from sending inappropriate content of themselves. The only rule was that the images had to be sent with consent of the sender. At that point, I was pretty weirded out and had hoped the mods had some way of weeding out minors. Either way, for a YouTuber's Discord server, I think it's extremely inappropriate to have a channel made specifically for people who share lewd pictures and I'm gonna have to agree with that um that paired with uh, everything else that's going on the fact that he was sending out late night messages to have people and underage girls uh, sending messages to which he would coax them into inappropriate conversations this person sent me a screenshot of a confirmed underage uh young girl saying that she wants to have inappropriate relations with Destry. They're having these types of conversations with people that are above the age of 18 years old. And I wanted to look more into his server, although it is privated at the time and not accepting anybody in. If you, I know that there's a, a couple people out there that are already in there, and I would like for you to send me anything that you find that it could be useful. If you guys have any information about uh, Destry's Discord server, if you have any screenshots that can be helpful towards this situation, send them to me. You can uh, DM me on Instagram. My DMs are open. Just allow me a couple days to get back to you, but you will hear back from me. Needless to say, these types of inappropriate conversations with underage individuals, given the situation that is currently going on, raises some eyebrows for me. Especially when you consider that people are sending me in interactions that they had with Destry back when they were underage and having inappropriate conversations where he did take advantage of minors. One I posted here anonymously is evidence of how Destry Smith would use his social media to draw in underage fans. Here he is saying, send me a snap, just added. Additionally, another girl that goes by Pretty Little Strange on Instagram sent me in some screenshots of him also accepting her on Snapchat. Obviously, that's very inappropriate conversation for a grown man to be having with a 16-year-old child. I'm going to be staying on top of this Destry situation. I know that there have been some accusations towards Nathan Owens, the uh, second part of uh, Designate, the, the channel he used to run back in the day. I'm still looking into that. But if you have information on any of this stuff, like I said, my Instagram DMs are open. You can also email me at repkingsatlive.com. Also, in the news. One of my friends and fellow YouTuber, Pastel Bell, is uh, having some difficulty with her channel. And if you guys haven't heard about this, essentially she'd been raising awareness about a problematic YouTuber on the platform. A lot of you know who it is, Eugenia. And apparently YouTube has 
broken, her channel's broken, and every time she goes to upload anything to do with anyone, it stays stuck on processing. Now, this is something that she's been dealing with for about a month or longer, and it's uh, very frustrating. She tweeted on March 4th, so due to continual upload problems and censorship issues with my YouTube channel, which suddenly started after supporting the removal age restriction of Eugenia's pro Anna content, I'm leaving the commentary community. My full statement is here. I hate that I have to make this decision, but I'm leaving the commentary community and I will be switching my content. Ever since coming out in support of removing age restricting Eugenia toxic and harmful pro Anna content, YouTube has placed such a severe censorship restriction on my channel that I can't upload any videos that even mention other creators' names or show text of them on screen. Yes, my videos are now blocked from uploading, even if I just show text of people's names. Now, if you guys want to read the rest of this, you can pause the screen. Additionally, this has happened to another YouTuber the same similar circumstances as Pistel Bell. They said, hi everyone, not totally sure what's going on with uploading videos to this channel, but the highlights from March 4th stream is stuck on processing. So clearly there's something that's going on here and I wanna encourage uh, YouTube to take a look into this. I think the best thing that we can do towards this is to raise enough awareness to get YouTube's attention to say, hey, you don't need to be doing this to uh, good creators on the platform. You already allow some uh, terrible creators to thrive here. Don't do this to the people that are actually trying to help people. I, I, I don't like that. So um, share this video uh, at YouTube. Tell them to look at Pistel Bell's channel. At this point, I feel like that's where we're at with this. I don't want to see this happen. Hopefully something can be done about this also in the news. One thing I did want to talk about briefly here is a, a video that YouTuber Tamimi uploaded about Shane Dawson cheating his way to the top. Now I'm going to post this link in the pinned comment as well as some other resources about today's video. To summarize what happened with the entire situation this past year, Shane Dawson associated himself with Jeffree Star, who gave him a very, very, very huge boost in success by creating a makeup palette. However, in that same year, his association with Jeffree Star had also led to the downfall of his career as defending him brought a lot of receipts and clips and videos, what have you back up in Shane Dawson's face from his earlier days on YouTube. Old videos resurfaced, the entire Will Smith family essentially denounced Shane, he lost all of his friends, and so much more. His online persona was beginning to crack, and we were starting to get a glimpse of the real Shane, the Shane Dawson that Shane Dawson doesn't want you to know exists. I'm gonna put Tamimi's video in the pinned comment, I highly encourage you to watch it, it's a very insightful and good video. Essentially what she says is that back in, uh, when YouTube first started, Started, back when Shane Dawson first started, YouTube had loopholes that could be exploited in order to grow faster. This is called cheating. One of those uh, loopholes was an engagement thing where all you had to do was click or comment and people would set up bots. And yes, Shane Dawson was 100% doing this. Guys, this is my backup channel. I created a backup because people were threatening to hack my account. So just in case they are successful, I created this account. So he made a second channel, said it was because it was for in case his main channel was hacked, but really, let's be honest with you, it wasn't for that. It was so that he could use this channel as a verified channel connected to his to comment to boost engagement. And when this happened back in the day, to be quite clear, in today's algorithm, it's completely dominated by watch time. How much you watch with my video as an individual viewer boosts the video in the algorithm. But back then, it wasn't like that. It was based purely upon engagement and click-through rate. People will go and see if uh, uh, Shane Dawson has logged on to his main account lately. I wonder if he has. Oh wait, it was an hour ago. And uh, let's go back to um, Shane Dawson backup. Where is Shane Dawson backup? When was that made? Oh, just, 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 just a few days ago. Oh, Shane Dawson, I'm so... I need to spam videos because I need attention. And he's still working at it. Agreed one second ago. 
Agreed. Five seconds. You see, there was a ranking system for different topics on YouTube. And there was also a ranking system for the most discussed video on YouTube. So in other words, a video is uploaded onto YouTube and gets a ton of comments in a short amount of time could end up being on the top list. So if your video was number one in any of these ranking categories, it would be equivalent to being number one on trending today. This means that Shane Dawson exploited the algorithm, which is against terms of service, by the way. He is a cheater. Comments were already rolling in at a rapid pace. Every few seconds, tons and tons of comments would show up. But on top of that, every time somebody commented on this video, a response from Shane Dawson TV2 backup would say, agreed. And it did not matter what the context of any of these comments were. They could say really horrible things and it would still say, agreed. So essentially, if a video got 5,000 views, it would have 5,000 comments saying agreed. This can only be uh, accomplished by botting, setting up a bot account to say agreed in response to another comment. So I'm really interested in seeing what you guys think about this. Because as always, as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. So uh, we got, we're staying on top of Destry Smith. Um, Pastel Bell don't quit. And Shane Dawson's a cheater. I don't think anybody's surprised about that last one. But uh, let's talk about this new jersey that's coming out. I made a team jersey. So with this design, I went super retro. This is an actual legitimate jersey, like a legitimate like school type jersey. It's very uh, good quality. It's locally sourced to help out uh, businesses during the pandemic. Um, and it's the first rep squad jersey. And I just feel like I'll, this is our team jerseys, you know what I'm saying? Like, the rep squad is the best squad, and this is it. Um, I know a lot of people are hopped about this. I'm going to be releasing them in April, and I'm going to try to get some hats uh, as well. But this is for sure going to happen. Um, I've already placed the orders. I'm just waiting for them to come in. Uh... I'm just super like this is like how perfectly how I envisioned it and this is a different kind of merch this is like next level type stuff and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start uh, sourcing all of my merch locally I still do have my main merch channel online through Teespring but this is something that's more close to my heart that I want to do I want to help uh, local businesses and just uh, do what I can do my part that being said um, I want to know your thoughts on this. Like, it's it's literally, it's retro. It's simple. It's great. It's the stars. I, I love it. Rep squad, best squad. Um, it's just another way to show that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're gagging. Hey, do that. I can do subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section after every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there. And the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Man, I cannot wait to wear my jersey.